Well, Paul and Jess, we are joining you live from Norman tonight. We're here at Oklahoma Memorial Stadium where Rodney Anderson was named the starting running back just one month ago. He's a he's a rising star for the Sooners, but now this bombshell allegation. Tonight we spoke with legal experts and sources. He's been exceptional this year, so it, all that narrative gets thrown out of the door, right? Because now we're talking about rape allegations. In a protective order, the woman claims the OU star Rodney Anderson raped her three weeks ago. She says it wasn't until this past weekend that she started recalling sexual contact and trying to get away to put clothes on. You have to take these things extremely serious. But as the day has kind of gone along, you're hearing that Roddy Anderson has a leg to stand on here. There's some text messages or information out there that doesn't necessarily fit with the young lady's story. And Anderson vehemently denies that he raped anyone. He even started a Twitter account to fight for his innocence. In my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have to set up a Twitter account to defend myself. In the most possible, straightforward, and honest manner, I did not do this. And a legal expert says he sees some flaws in this case. There are things that, that are indicated here in the summary from the Norman Police Department and the allegations that she's making in the protective order that quite honestly leave a great many holes in the story. Even though he sees holes in the story, he also added this. The easy thing for the district attorney or the police to do is to move forward. It requires them to take some political risk to say, no, this case does not have enough evidence. Now we will find out if the case will move forward very soon. Monday the 18th, Rodney Anderson and the accuser must appear in court to see if that protective order will stick. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Very, very developing story and implications beyond just this. Of course, the Rose Bowl coming up. Reporting live here in Norman, Abigail Ogle, KOCO 5 News.